You know, as you start to dine out with family and friends from Thanksgiving through the new year, it really is a make or break critical time for local restaurants. The whole restaurant experience might look and cost a lot different from you. So here's a little of what you can expect. Longer wait times for your food because of those staffing issues, much higher menu prices because food prices have skyrocketed, and even some takeout boxes and plastics might not be available because of supply chain backup. To see why and how it's affecting folks, we went to a long time Palm Beach County restaurant. The oldest steakhouse in Florida yeah. has a new problem. There we go. Before the steak gets on the grill here at Okeechobee Steakhouse, it's been through a backed up supply chain. When the truck shows up, you don't know if the food's going to be on there. And those backups have caused food prices to soar. And steakhouse owner Ralph Lewis says the timing couldn't be worse. The businesses, I think, have shielded their customers very well. But I think between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you're going to really see um, it show its ugly face a lot worse. Lewis breaks it down like this. He's seen food prices jump up more in the past 10 months than he has in the past 74 years. It's caused a filet mignon dinner to raise by more than $20. You've likely heard some of the reasons by now. Truck driver shortages, stalled container ships off the California coast, staffing shortages at places that build restaurant equipment. It all trickles down to places like Okeechobee Steakhouse. Lewis is letting diners know he's not the only one raising prices. We've seen a lot of price raises right before the holidays, which I think is really creating a big sticker shock with the public and bringing a lot of awareness that they thought, well, it's the other guy. But it's really all of us. Just about everything here is in high demand, but short stock. Like many restaurants, Okeechobee Steakhouse has had plates and silverware on back order from earlier this year. So when one of these breaks, that's a cost that could be passed on to you. For now, we cut about four to 6,000 pounds a week to stay. Lewis is stocked and ready for Thanksgiving week. This is joy and happiness for us, I can tell you. And when the steak is cut and served, Lewis and so many other restaurant owners here in South Florida are hoping for a successful holiday season. 75 years, looking forward to our 100th. Boy, and how many restaurants have had to close or temporarily at least during this pandemic. But uh, Lewis, he keeps postponing his plans to open more restaurants in Palm Beach County because equipment needed like grills and supply. Uh, they're on supply chain back order. And just to show you it's not him, we did get an email in the newsroom last week saying the new Corvina Seafood Grill in Boca Raton delaying its grand opening because of supply chain challenges.